Hey y'all, it's Jess. So a friend of mine was telling me recently that her mom said something along the lines of, you're not going to be accepted by people if you tell them that you're autistic. And so I wanted to talk about that. If you've ever felt like that is true, if you've ever been told that by somebody, or if you think that about yourself. The fact is, everybody feels that way at some one point or another, whether you're autistic or you're not. Because the world is set up in a way to accommodate only a certain amount of people who are extroverted, rich, white, not disabled, and that's the people who <laughs> their strengths are targeted uh, without their weaknesses being exploited, and that's why they are successful in this society. And so it's not you that's the problem, it's society that's the problem because it's already geared against you if you're not one of those things. And so if everyone were to listen to this select amount of people and saying you're not going to succeed and you're not going to be accepted and you're not you're going to have a good life unless you are this little thing first of all most people aren't going to be able to achieve that second of all if you have to change so much about you to be accepted by this select group of people because they say that everyone else will only accept you if you're like that which is not true at all then you will end up only be accepted, being accepted by that select group of people. And why would you want to strive to be accepted by some people, some, like an idea, a concept of people with such high standards that you can't even be your authentic self? Whereas if you don't follow that and you start, you just be yourself, like, yeah, people are going to not like you. Your personality might clash with some people. You might get along really well with this select amount of people for one point in time and then later change personality traits as you grow and learn and then not be accepted by them anymore and have to change social groups and that's just how life goes. The point I'm trying to make is you're never going to be accepted by everyone in the world and as autistic women I know that we are put down at an early age, we are forced to mask and conform to what society says that we should be, especially as women, <laughs> because there's so many unwritten rules of femininity that you just get put on you as soon as you're born. But you're authentic and unique, and you're not alone. There's so many autistic women who have been told these exact same things for years and years and years, even before they knew they were autistic. And you've got a community around you who loves you and appreciates you and accepts you how you are. So you don't need to be afraid because that kind of love that you're looking for and the life that you want, you will only achieve that if you accept who you are. We aren't weird or unlovable or invalid or any of those things because we don't fit into the norm. We, we, we aren't. You have to believe that because we are living proof that living differently from other people is a beautiful part of being on this earth and of being diverse. And what we can offer society and not even society, just what we can offer to others, to ourselves, to our family is so, so, so important that it doesn't matter the people who don't accept you or invalidate you being autistic or anything like that because they're not the type of people that you should be listening to their opinions. You should be listening to the type of people who have the authority to say who you are and what you mean to them because they love you. So I hope that this has encouraged you a little bit. Um, it's something that I have been struggling with for a little while, but I feel like the more that I accept me being autistic, be open about it, make videos and talk to you guys, I, I find more love in my heart for myself and for others, and that's that's what I'm striving for. So I hope you guys have a great week. It's great to talk to you again. I'll see you next Monday. Bye.